Action News Now Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. It's heating up over Trinity County where you can see the monument fire. The smoke there is still a major smoke is a threat to our health. I should say the yeah. fire is still a threat to many communities there. Yeah, Chief Meteorologist Jason Siff is tracking the conditions out there. Jason, what's the fire weather forecast for that area? Well, we still have some gusty wind right now, but that wind will be shifting direction late tonight through early tomorrow. There is a cold front approaching the west coast right now, and we are going to have the potential for more of this smoke that you see on your screen. This is looking toward Mount Shasta, but because it's so smoky, we have no chance of seeing Mount Shasta right now. Should be right about there, but as you can see, this camera view from Wairika. You can't see that far. We also have, unfortunately, more fire danger for eastern Siskiyou County and Modoc County. Red flag warning out through tonight at 8 p.m. with more wind gusts up to 35 miles an hour possible. Really dry air and obviously hot temperatures. Speaking of which, we have a lot more of those. We still have our heat advisory. This lasts through Thursday evening at 8 p.m. More temperatures up to 108 degrees possible. So if you have any outdoor things you need to do, do it as early as you can when it's not quite this hot. Look at our current temperatures. It's 105 right now in Red Bluff, 106 in Redding and in Corning. It's 104 in Oroville and Chico, even Paradise, 98 degrees right now. But you can see that we have a cold front approaching the coast. It's so nice to actually have some rain visible on our radar. But the bad news is that storm is moving the wrong direction to really benefit us. It's actually going to be kind of a hindrance to the quality of our air going forward. We'll have some clouds moving overhead. There will be a shift in the wind late tonight through early tomorrow, which you really can't see. Looking at this, we just have those clouds slowly but surely streaming overhead, but it's definitely going to be making a change in our air quality in the valley. Coming up later in our broadcast, I'm going to show you our smoke tracker, but there is a slight chance for some showers as the second trough of low pressure moves on shore. Can't rule out a stray rain shower. Unfortunately, I believe we're going to have a better chance for dry lightning strikes, which we do not want late Thursday into Friday than actual beneficial rain. Rain. That trough is going to scoot out of the way also, and then we're going to have a mixture of clouds and sunshine, but definitely more seasonable temperatures once we get past tomorrow. Now, I wanted to show you this amount of rain in our future tracker for the amounts of rain not looking very promising, but this may be overdone also. We may see a few hundredths of an inch of rain in the highest terrain. Not impossible to get some measurable rain out of it, just not very likely. Again, we have a better chance for some lightning strikes than we do beneficial rain. Here's your forecast for tomorrow. We're going to have a wind shift. We're going to have temperatures still hot, but a little bit cooler than today. Highs in the lower to mid 90s for the northern mountains. For northeastern California, a cool night. Still another hot day tomorrow ahead of that cold front. Daytime highs in the 90s and triple digits up to 100 102 degrees for high in Quincy tomorrow. And just like today, expecting more mid to upper 90s around Megalia and Paradise. Lower 90s for the higher elevations around the ridge. Lows not cooling very well. Mostly 70s tomorrow morning and expect some more haze in the air compared to the last couple days. Speaking of which, expect more smoke in the north part of the valley tonight. Lows in the mid to upper 60s. And because of that smoke, not quite as hot as today, but still well above average by about 8 degrees or so. 102 to 100 103 degrees on Wednesday. The Chico area will also have some more haze by tomorrow morning, but I think more of it is going to be on the western and northern sides of the valley. Lows tonight between 65 degrees and 70. Daytime highs also lower triple digits on Wednesday. We have a little bit of a cool down ahead for Chico, dropping down to the lower 90s this coming weekend, but expect more hazy, smoky weather the next couple days and even smokier for Redding, also hotter too, with highs in the triple digits. Mid to upper 90s though, beginning on 